Hi, I'm Ben, and this is Bramble, the tiny narrowboat that I call home. We travel along the UK's inland waterways, having adventures and making discoveries as we go. Come with us as we cruise along on our travels. This is Ben's Boat Bramble. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I've been away for two, three weeks, was it? Um, anyway, I'm in Croxley and uh, just heading back to Bramble now and I'm going to have a quick move. And uh, yeah, just to say I'm back and uh, I've been spending some time with family uh, on the weekends and during the weekdays I've been very busy with work. Um, I'm a gardener so whenever the weather's nice the phone goes crazy uh, and I can't complain but um, it's not left me with much time to make videos um, but here we are I've made some time today. On my way back to Bramble I walked through Croxley Hall Woods which is just below Croxley Village. Uh, it's quite a nice walk but um, there's been a bit of rain the last couple of nights so I'm expecting it to be a bit boggy down here. boat behind the bushes so I'm definitely going the right way being quite tall has its disadvantages I, uh, I tend to get all the spider webs that shorter people don't get so when you're first when you're the first tall person walking through a place like this you get quite a lot of spider webs in your face <laughs> Since I last made a video, um, the uh, the growth on the towpath has really shot up. We've had some nice weather, we've had some wet weather, so all of that combined, the grass and the weeds and the wildflowers are nice and tall and I quite like that. I like it when it's like that. So sadly, as much as I'd love to continue exploring north um, into unknown waters to me, um, unfortunately, it's just not, um, what's the word? It just doesn't work when, uh, when I'm this busy at work um, because I'm having to travel quite a long distance to get to and from Bramble. Um, so the plan is, I'm going to head back London bound. Not too sure how central I'll go yet, but um, I'm gonna head back in that direction on the Grand Union Canal and call it a day on this direction for now. But I think a bit later in the year when my work just starts calming down, before all the lock closures and everything, I'll, uh, I'll do more traveling. And I'd quite like to go further up on the River Lee as well. I've only been as far as the Tottenham Lock, which uh, it's not very, very far up the River Lee. So there's a lot more to explore there, all the way up to Enfield and beyond. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, heading back to London. I wasn't kidding about the growth on the side of the canal. I know I said I've been moving, but plans have changed. I just don't have enough time to move before I need to go and make an appointment. Um, so, and it's a really important meeting, so I can't miss it. So I have about half an hour to spare. I think I'm gonna start taking apart the bed, um, or at least part of it, to take it back from the wall so that the, uh, the door entrance is clear because as mentioned in a previous video, I'm going to make an L-shaped seating area that uh, comes on this side and follows this wall um, that pulls out, you know, with the slats. Um, sorry, I'm not very good at describing today, but uh, I'm sure some of you know what I mean. So this is probably one of the hardest things about such a small boat 
is structural DIY can be quite hard because there's lots of stuff under the bed. There's the mattress and everything, and there's not a lot of space to uh, to put things and still be able to use things. So um, yeah, it's going to be a mess for a few days. This is also a good opportunity for me to um, remember what's actually under the bed. I've got all my paints that were left over from the paint job last year. Shout out to Jill of JK Boat Painting and Artwork and also to Reg and Emily. Um, so Emily had her boat Reg painted by JK Painting and Artwork as well. Jill, if you will. and. Uh, it's absolutely amazing um, if you can if you're a fan of paintwork or boats or both check it out it's absolutely amazing um, the colors used are really bright there's lots of different patterns and shapes and uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a really beautiful boat I loved it before the paint job and I love it after the paint job This is one of those things you'd think that you wouldn't forget about this but i've got a lovely scooter here um, that i used to use quite a lot so i think this is going to stay out and be used it's handy from getting to station from station to station or uh you know between transport links to make your journey that much quicker oh i'm gonna need this at some point soon as well because i really um want to tile around the stove around the fireplace okay that's pretty much the space clear I need to start getting rid of this portion of the bed um, I'll bring you in a bit closer now so I've made a lovely big mess already stuff everywhere my Christmas decorations um, so yeah I'm pretty much going to be taking it from here and having this space free no matter what the bed looks like afterwards this space will be free so that i can easily access the door and um, i might make a little step up there as well but um yeah i'm quite looking forward to having that space free so first things first out comes the screwdriver and then i'm probably going to have to use the saw like this cutting towards the wall being very careful um to get through that because I want to leave some of this frame here it will be useful to have when um when I'm building the bed this way and obviously I'll be keeping the uh, off cuts of wood uh, as well okay so I've got about 10 minutes left so I'm gonna find the screwdriver quickly if I can remember where it is Nope, but I did just find a four pack of uh, beer, which I'd forgotten about. Um, aha. Screwdriver set. Right, how long have I got? I've literally got about five minutes. So I want to make sure I keep all these screws and fixings to hand and that I don't lose any of them or chuck anything away accidentally because materials are expensive these days. Um, buy me a coffee has really helped me out quite a few times. Um, for all of you that have supported me on that, thank you so much. Um, there's been a couple of times where I might have been a bit short for uh, certain outgoings and uh, a payment from buy me a coffee's come through and it's really there's been three or four times when it's actually saved me um, so I really really appreciate that and uh, yeah thank you for watching liking commenting and also to uh, all the supporters on buy me a coffee and yes I have actually bought some coffee with it as well So as well as 
all the kitchen cupboards and this storage area. I, uh, I also store things underneath, at the floor level, underneath the uh, kitchen cupboards and things. And because I don't have kickboards, so it's quite easy to uh, access things. All right, I think I'll do this first. I've made the first cut. So I've made the first cut, but I'm also going to have to cut this short because it is time to leave. So um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, comment, and like. And if you would like to support the channel a bit, you can do so on um, buymeacoffee.com. There's a link to that in the description. Uh, yeah, hopefully next week will be a bit more interesting and a, li a little less rushed. Um, I'll probably carry on with this, but I will be moving as well. And uh, yeah, see you very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.